Hello, this is Mrs. Coffee. Today we're going to be doing an experiment about the ball and ring apparatus, which is this material right here. Um, the top part is made out of metal and the particular type of metal is called brass. Brass is a good conductor of thermal energy and it's quite heavy. And then the handle is an insulator, which is wood so that when I heat up this apparatus, my hand does not get burned. The ring is also made out of brass, which is metal, with the handle that is made out of wood, which is an insulator, which stops or slows down the transfer of thermal energy. So it does not burn my hand when I'm holding it and I heat it up. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, learning about how the molecules that are in something that is cold, we talked about this before, are stuck together like this. So they barely move. And right now these two, um, the ball and the ring, are both cold. So the ball fits through the ring without any problem. So you can see they fit like this. So you can easily do that. But when we warm metal, when we warm something that is a conductor, the heat from the fire, which is gonna be our source of heat, is going to transfer quickly from the end, where the heat source is touching it, all the way down to the handle. It'll stop when it gets to the handle because of the uh, material that is wood, which is an insulator. But all the molecules that are in the ball, that's the part that I'm going to be heating up, are going to start spreading apart like this picture here. And they will start vibrating quickly. And so when they vibrate and they spread apart, this metal is actually going to expand a little bit. So it's going to get so much bigger that it won't be able to fit through the ring anymore. So while I'm doing this experiment, I want you to think about what practical applications this could apply to in the real world. What is a reason that somebody might choose a conductor as a material they use when they build a house or a road or railroad tracks? and maybe think about why you might need to leave some space in between um, objects that are made out of metal. If you are making something like a railroad track, you might want to leave some space between the metal rails because as we're gonna find out, um, heat makes the uh, materials expand. Same thing if you have concrete. Um, in particular, I'm going to turn this flame on so I can start heating up. I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to be heating up the metal. So I'll just talk a little bit as I'm recording. So we just got uh, a new cement patio put in this year. And they put cracks in the cement. You've probably noticed that before. It could be one giant slab of cement, but they didn't make it one giant slab of cement. They put um, cracks in between pieces of the cement. And that is because in the heat, which we have a lot of in North Carolina, the material will expand. And we need to have space so that the cement doesn't just buckle up like a earthquake would do to the ground, we would need to have room so it can expand without buckling my entire patio. So that's why they put those cracks in there. All right, so I am heating up the ball with a propane burner. This would work a lot faster if I had a, um, a Bunsen burner, but since I'm an elementary school teacher, I don't have access to those things. So this is the best I could do. So right now, the molecules that are in the ball are heating up. And when they heat up, we know that they are going to expand and get bigger. So that is what's happening right now with the ball. The 
molecules are heating up and spreading apart. So let's try it. Let's see if it fits through the ball or through the ring anymore. Well, it still goes through, so we're gonna keep heating it up, but it's getting a little bit tighter. Might be running out of propane here. Yeah, it still has a flame. All right, I'm gonna stop and record a part two because this might take a while to heat this up enough that it won't fit through the ring anymore. And I don't want to make you watch my video forever while this is happening. So I will come back and show you when they don't fit together. That means that the ball is very hot so it has fully expanded.